What's up guys? In this video I'm going to show you some basic SEO tips for WordPress.com when you're using a free account. Of course if you have a paid account you can install any third-party plugin uh, to help you manage SEO but there are some basic features that are built into WordPress.com that are sort of masked in just the regular features on WordPress. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump in here and edit this post. Once I've got this open, uh, there's a few things you want to pay attention to. Now, I've only called this post Taj Mahal. Now, this was a post that I created in a uh, past video. Now, um, the first thing you want to do is if there is a particular phrase or a search term that you are trying to target. So, for example, um, maybe I just want people to find stunning Taj Mahal photo or um, great or beautiful Taj Mahal photo or something like that um, and not just Taj Mahal because when I have a general term like this I'm literally competing with every site and page out there that talks about the Taj Mahal in any capacity so this is way too general of a term I'm gonna go for something a little bit more specific so I will put travel photo or rather beautiful photo of the Taj Mahal better yet I can put beautiful travel or even uh, amateur uh, travel photo whoops um, of the Taj Mahal and there that way I have very specific terms so this is just me being a newbie photographer uh, traveler to India and I can even put that in. I mean, now I'm just what well, I'm just maybe taking this a little too far. I'm maybe making this a little too specific. Um, but mainly, I just want to make sure that I have a very descriptive title. Now, if you are using a WordPress uh, plugin for this in a paid version of uh, WordPress.com or your own independent install on a third party uh, hosting service, then you have way more flexibility in this regard. But in, in WordPress.com with a free version, unfortunately, the title is going to appear right here in your post title, and unfortunately, it will show up everywhere, and so you're, that's the only option you really have. Now, the second thing I want to pay attention to here is the URL slug, and I'll show you where this shows up as well. Now, um, I'm just going to plug in some words that are hyphenated here, uh, so I'm going to put amateur travel photo and that way some of the terms that are in here also match with up here and as you can see uh, it generates that um, link here and it, and it shows up right here so if I go ahead and update that and I go to this link now you're seeing the title here but what you also are noticing is that it also shows up up here now this is what's called a meta title now meta tags show up in your code so I'm just going to go here and view page source and I'm just going to look for title and as you can see the title of the page shows up right here and then if I want the description uh, the meta description that's also in the code and it's buried right here so you see meta name description the Taj Mahal is an ivory white marble mausoleum in the south bank of the Yamuna River. Da 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 da. So it takes the first so many characters of your actual post and it plugs it in as your meta description. Now, what I'm going to do with this instead is I'm going to replace that with more descriptive text again that matches what I have in the title. So I'm going to say I'm in amateur traveler and I took a stunning photo of the Taj Mahal located in Agra, India. Now I'm just going to update here and kind of show you what that just did. So if I just refresh the page again, I go back to this meta description here and you'll see that it actually took my uh, text there and it plugged it in. And it took this, uh, it's a first sentence, but then it continued actually. So going back here, 
Um, you probably want to put in a little bit more text there to fill in that with stuff that has more to do with the title. So it's got to all sort of jive and match. Okay. Now, a general SEO uh, thing to do is also include some keywords. However, keywords don't really show up um, well on Google or they don't really contribute that much, but they're still good to have. So one of the things I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a few tags. So I'm going to put photography, travel, travel photography, um, amateur travel, um, let's see, Taj Mahal obviously, Agra, India, and update. Now let's see if that actually shows up anywhere in the quote. So I'm going to look for maybe the word photography and see if it shows up. So, talk. Oops. so it doesn't show up in any of the uh, meta information, but it sort of populates on the page itself um, right in this area. So it'll show up there with the other tags, but the point here is that at least it appears within the content of your page, which is also a contributor to um, SEO. So really we're looking at title, we're looking at description which appears in the content, and then also your content as a whole, uh, which is included here. Now I also promised you that I would change this uncategorized thing. Um, what you wanna do in WordPress is also uncheck this and create another category here and go ahead and add that category. So now it's added the photography category. There we go. Those are the basics um, of the SEO uh, components in WordPress.com on a free account that will allow you to place a little bit better um, in Google and show that you have very complete content. Um, the last little tidbit I wanted to show you is something known as Open Graph. Now in the code, what it looks like is it's right up here and it's automatically generated for you. And that's this whole block right here. Anything that's preceded by OG is actually Open Graph uh, or part of the Open Graph protocol or OGP. Um, and to kind of show you what this looks like, what I did was I copy and pasted. So if I copy and paste my link into Facebook's um, developer platform, and, I, and I'll link you guys to this page, um, you can actually preview what your post will look like when you copy and paste this link into Facebook. So when you copy and paste this link into a Facebook post, it'll actually generate this little card for you where it's got the title that it grabbed right off your website as well as, as well as a small description down here. Of course, it has the link to your website and then that featured image. And so if you wanna see what that looks like, not only can you do this on Facebook, but on Twitter, if you post your link, um, it appears right there. As you can see, there's the photo. Let's just say I, I tweet it again. This is an, another OGP test. You'll also find that it will update. So there you go. Now it's got the new version there with the uh, new little sentence that I wrote in there, but all the rest is the same. And of course, LinkedIn. You copy and paste the link in and it will actually um, generate this card for you here as well. So it actually, Open Graph, even though it's developed by Facebook, is actually available across all um, the web on several social media websites for you. So guys, um, there's a basic rundown of some of the basic SEO features. If you guys have any questions at all, please comment in the comment section below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. Thanks guys.